Hi guys, today I'm going to go over two example questions that have to do with tangents and we're going to solve them by using the definition of a derivative. Alright, so let's take a look at our first example. We want to determine the slope of the curve f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 3 at the point 1, 0. So first off, we want to find the slope of the curve at any point, so we're going to find the derivative. So f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 we're going to sub in x plus h everywhere where there's an x in the function. So x plus h squared minus 4x plus h plus 3. And then we're going to subtract the function. So x squared minus 4x plus 3. And all of this is over h. So on the next line, we're still taking the limit. And let's expand these brackets. So x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 4x minus 4h plus 3 minus x squared plus 4x minus 3. And all of this is over h. So now there's some common terms, so let's cross those out, the x squareds, the 4x's, and the 3's. And so now we're left with all terms with the h in it. So let's factor those out, and then we'll be able to divide uh, the numerator and the denominator by h. So h multiplied by 2x plus h minus 4, all over h. So now we're going to take the limit as h approaches 0, so we're going to sub in 0 everywhere where there's an h and we get our derivative, 2x minus 4. So if you remember our definition of a derivative, the derivative represents the slope of the curve at any point. So if we want to find the slope at a specific point, all we have to do is sub in the x-coordinate of that point. So in this case, 1. So we're going to do 2 multiplied by 1 minus 4. And that gives us that the slope at the point 1, 0 is negative 2. OK, so let's hop right into our next example. So this time we're going to do it the other way around. We want to determine the point on the curve f of x equals 2x squared minus 3x where the slope of the tangent is 5. So you probably could have guessed the first thing we're going to do is take the derivative. So we're still using the definition of a derivative, the limit as h approaches 0. We're going to go f of x plus h, so we're subbing in x plus h everywhere where there's an x. And we're going to subtract f of x, which is 2x squared minus 3x and all of this is over h. So now in the next line, still taking the limit, so it's 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared minus 3x minus 3h minus 2x squared and plus 3x. And all of this is still over h. So now as you can see, we have some common terms. We're going to cancel out the 2x squareds and the 3x's. And so now, still taking the limit as h approaches 0, and we have a lot of terms with h in it, so let's factor in h. So it's going to be h multiplied by 4x plus 2h minus 3 over h, and we can cancel those h's out. So now, as we take the limit as h approaches 0, we're going to sub in 0 everywhere where we have an h, and we get that our derivative is 4x minus 3. Now here's where it gets different. Let's sub in the tangent that we know, so 5, and we're going to sub that in for f prime of x. So 5 is equal to 4x minus 3. Now we can move the 3 to the other side to get 8 equals 4x and divide each side by 4. So we get that x is equal to 2. So now we have the x coordinate of our point. Now we need to sub that into our original function, f of x, to get the y coordinate of our point. So we say that y is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 squared, which is the x-coordinate we just found, minus 3 multiplied by 2, the x-coordinate again. And that gives us 2. So therefore, the point on the curve where the slope of the tangent is 5 is the point 2, 2. So the x-coordinate is 2 and the y-coordinate is 2. I hope that these examples help you to see where we can apply the definition of a derivative. If you're still confused about how to find a derivative using this method, make sure to check out the video that I made explaining how we get the formula. I've also made several example videos of simply taking derivatives using this method that might be helpful. And as always, if you're so confused, feel free to leave a comment. Or, if you understood everything, feel free to leave a comment about how awesome I am or how math is super cool.